Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about Instagram theme pages and how you can possibly turn it into a business. Let's go. Let's get this out of the box. I just smashed my desk. All right, so before we are getting into today's video about growing theme pages, I'm just going to show you guys real quick what I ordered. It is a knife. You guys, you guys know Peter McKinnon? You for sure know him. And ever since he was talking about like that What's in Your Pocket series, I just got hooked on pocket knives. They're just, ugh, I love it. They're so handy and they get this to open. Oh, shit. Doesn't this look nice? Anyways, let's get to the video. So about a month ago, I just saw somebody, I think it was Baya Heza. I think you might know him if you watch this, you probably have watched his videos once uh, as well. And I just stumbled across this guy and he is a maniac of like growing your Instagram business. Like he's making his living just off of the internet for like at like at the age of like 18 or 19. It's really impressive what this guy's doing. So I just got inspired and say, you know what? Let's grow our own theme page. All right, let's first of all look how does Instagram even work. So basically on Instagram, only your followers do see your content, except for hashtags or if you hit the explore page. Whereas the explore page, you have to hit about five or like two to 5,000 followers to even get on there. So your first goal is gonna be getting to 2,000 to 5,000 followers in order to then be seen by other people who don't even follow you. So now there's this exception of hashtags and hashtags as opposed to TikTok is they are way more important on Instagram because it's kind of like the only way how people can find your content. That means that for example on TikTok you have that for you page where you just post your content and TikTok is going to push it out to the audience who they think it's going to be suitable for and if they like it, it's going to be pushed out further and further and further and it's just going to be those steps where you don't really have to like focus on hashtags and actually getting your content out there because TikTok is doing this for you most of the time. Here on Instagram, it's way harder. Getting your first 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers can be so hard. I know that I'm still also on the grind right now, but it's not 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 a walk in the park. I'm not gonna lie. If you're interested in TikTok, Instagram, YouTube growth, if you're interested in those type of videos, they're gonna be way more coming in the future. So make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. You're not gonna miss out. Oh shoot, no, you're gonna miss out. <laughs> so in the beginning, getting followers will be your best friend on Instagram because therefore you're gonna get more engagement off of the start. It might perform better in the hashtags you post. So it's just gonna be that all like perfectly mixed uh, combination of strategies to grow your theme, theme page. So now we're gonna focus on two things on growing your theme page. Growing followers, and hashtags. Followers and hashtags are both equally important, but hashtags are still even more important. But let's get into the followers first. So getting to your first thousand followers is gonna be the toughest uh, accomplishment. Uh, is it on YouTube, on Instagram, maybe even TikTok, but yeah, especially YouTube and Instagram, it's follow for follow. So no, don't click off of this video. You gotta do it the right way. Not just how everybody says, just going on random pages and just following everybody uh, and doing that. What you wanna do is you go into a certain type of niche. So if you, <clears throat> oh, voice crack. So if you are in the land, in the photography and travel niche, what you wanna do is you wanna find popular, the not so popular accounts on Instagram that are in the same niche as you. So I'm on, uh, my page is called Wilderness Fever. So it's about wilderness, landscapes, epic stuff of planet Earth. So what I will do is I will search up many accounts about Earth and landscapes and wilderness, all, the, all of that. And then I am going to follow these people who like the pictures that they put out. So don't just follow 
um, the followers they have because you don't know if they're active but you're gonna go on the recent posts and you're gonna follow each and every one or until you're action blocked sometimes don't really try to get action blocked but just try to like count a little bit and not really get permanently banned no not permanently temporary banned um, for 24 hours because it might affect your the algorithm later on whatever but yeah go to the liked pictures of the content in your niche and the next like even step up and like uh, to really perfect that follow for follow strategy you can even search the least follow posts uh, the least like posts and then just see where those loyal supporters of the page are that really like every single picture and then follow these people that's just as easy as that it's a grind but it's gonna get you there and yeah Instagram is a game of patience and that's something you learn on the way of growing your theme pages. One, uh, one tip for follow for follow is don't ever go over 5,000 followers. As soon as you hit 5,000, unfollow people unless you have, uh, until you have like about maybe 2,000, then maybe follow your way up again and do that until you reach about 2,000 to 5,000 followers. Next up, second of all, hashtags. So hashtags are, as I said, even more important than followers because you want your content to be seen by new people. You can't just grow your follower base off of just follow for follow. It's really like you can't do that because otherwise you will be action blocked or anything and it's just gonna be so hard to grow, I know. So that's why, that's why you're gonna need good hashtags. So how do you get good hashtags? Um, basically just, post and analyze your content go make make a business account on instagram and just um yeah just analyze what hashtags work for you what don't put them in the notes app on your phone for example what i did uh, as you can see right here i made like a whole as i said i'm in that travel niche and when i have like for example some 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 countries that I know that work good, for example, waterfalls in Iceland. I have a few hashtags out, um, that you can just copy from the notes app into your Instagram caption. And what I will also sometimes do is write some kind of some facts out of from Google and put them into those that notes app. And then if people see a picture of Iceland, I will actually describe what's in the picture and just put some facts. So it's also like something informative for the for my followers. So that's kind of like what I do, add some additional value to the content so people are more likely, ooh, this guy is not just reposting other people's content, but I can actually learn off of that. So I just think that that's actually adding big time value to my page. And yeah, that's kind of like why, uh, what I do. And yeah, um, there is an app called Focal Marked, what's basically gonna generate your hashtags. You can say like, um, I want Iceland landscapes and then it's gonna produce hashtags just around that content and you're gonna be able to just um, copy and paste it into your caption you're good to go that's something I would really suggest otherwise just see what hashtags work and what don't work for you and just yeah it's it's a grind what I've experienced that now as you can see I'm at about 900 followers right now on my theme page I think 931 if I'm correct whatever and what i have to say is that the first 600 to 700 people are going to be follow for follow or you're going to really get some rare like it, it rarely happens that there's going to be someone just stumbling across your page unless you use those hashtags right um otherwise yeah the more because the more followers you have that are actually active the more engagement you're going to get on your post and the better it's going to do on uh, those hashtags. So people that just click on the hashtag, you're gonna be in the top section, not just in the recent, but also on the top section of that hashtag. And you're gonna get way more exposure, way more people coming to your page and might actually be potential followers. So that's something you gotta worry about. So it's kind of like a, a game between follow and hashtags. And what I have noticed on my, so out of personal experience is that as of 700 to 800 followers, you're gonna get even more people who just uh, come across your page and follow you because my posts do better in those hashtags. More people follow, so it's just, it's gonna be an exponential growth. Um, in the beginning, don't give up, even if it's just follow for follow followers, as long as they are active and engaging in your content, you're gonna be just fine.
What's your ultimate goal off a theme page? It's basically hitting the explore page. If you don't know what the explore page is, it's basically that that uh, the second to left tab on Instagram with that kind of like magnifier where you can, you know, see other people's posts that you don't follow. And this is kind of like all like those famous accounts with a hundred to thousand followers. They're on this explore page and they're gaining even more followers off of that. That's what you call exponential growth. People are finding your content and you don't need people to find your content. And, and when um, we talked about it earlier, but on this page, you probably need about 2,000, 5,000 followers and have a good engagement rate. And getting on there, it's a grind as we already talked about, but if you implement those strategies, we I just uh, explained that you should be good. I mean, it's gonna take a while until then with hashtags, you can even make 10,000 impressions on your posts, on your recent posts. I just had that one post that all, like blew up for my um, relations. It had 950 likes by about 800 followers that time. So that one did pretty well. And it was because I used the great, uh, used good hashtags and it reached about 30,000 people. I might just have that wrong, but you'll see the insights on my uh, on the screen right now. What are your steps? Like your step to step guide for you uh, it's basically post good content that people actually like to see. If you see a post doing well on the explore page, repost it, it's gonna do well for you as well because if people like it from this account, people are gonna like it from your account as well. In the beginning as well, uh, even in the beginning, use those hashtags under the good content posts you put out there and do it about at least three times a day. If you can post three times a day, you will uh, experience some growth. People are gonna follow you because you, it's basically their feed is gonna be flooded by your content. They're gonna have, they're gonna get what they follow you for. Yeah, your next step is then gonna be create a folder of hashtags in your notes app in your phone. Uh, and then just do follow for follow. It's gonna help you out. Believe me, in the beginning, it's a grind. Just get there what gets you the new followers. Just do it. It's gonna consume a lot of time, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. And, and then what's so important, the step that everybody is missing out on, that the most people who try those theme pages are not succeeding in, is they just, uh, they get a new follower and they don't care. Like they don't do anything. If they comment, they don't even like their comment. They're just, yeah, I'm too good. He likes my content. Boom, I'm Gucci. You know what I mean? Like that's what most people think, but that's, such a huge mistake that might actually lead to the guy then unfollowing you in the end because he doesn't get like if you um, reply to every story they react to to every dm you get to every comment to every new follow even if you dm them say thanks for the follow join the journey whatever it is just do something to engage with new followers people that like your content people that comment on your content and what's really crucial, people who react to your stories. And also, what you gotta keep in mind is every like every day at least have one story up, even if it is just reposting like the a new post on your feed. I'm sorry, my Apple Watch is going nuts right now. Uh, whatever. Um, just have always make sure to have at least one story in to get that like circle around your profile to see. You're not a bot, you're active, you're caring about growth. You know, it's the little things that make big things work. All right, let's have a look. I'm at 935 followers right now. As you can see, people uh, like my post. As you can see up here, um, when you see that, where it's kind of like that, like post, and then you have that follow, means he followed you off of that post. If you then look at the insights, okay, no, it's actually too early, but I remember, yeah, but then, you know, people fo will follow you off your content. As you can see, it's doing better by the day. That was just, um, that scroll here was just uh, the last 10 hours, I think. And I started this account about a month ago. So um, the first 300 to 400 followers are gonna be the hardest to get. After that, people are more likely to follow. They see you already have more followers, you know, like if someone sees that you have more followers they're gonna be likely to also follow you i don't know that's just might be like a psychological trick your brain plays on you but you're just more likely to follow if you see that guy already has a following you see like people are interested in him i want to be interested in him too you know what i mean that's that's how people think you gotta think that so as soon as you're out of that 500 subscriber or follower range you're gonna grow 
even faster. Anyways, I will be posting updates on my theme page account um, about how I grow, maybe tips that help me, and I'll just, you know, keep you on the way, um, you know, just uh, update you uh, as often as I can, and then, and you know what? Let's grow this page together. If you're interested in that, if you want to see updates, more videos about theme pages and how to grow on Instagram, I'm going to be doing way more videos like these. So if you found these helpful, interesting, whatever, if it helped you, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. That all said and done, my notebook is not saying anything else. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. See ya.